Now in this example, what we've got to do is solve the simultaneous equations 5x minus 2y equals 11 with 5x minus 7y equals 1. Now I've picked this example uh, purely because we've got a couple of x terms here, 5x and 5x, they're absolutely identical so we can eliminate these okay, by subtracting our two equations. But before we start, make sure you number your equations 1 and 2. So tell the reader that you're going to subtract the equations, so say 1 take away 2, and if we do that we know that 5x subtract this 5x would leave me with nothing. Okay, So the x terms get eliminated. But we've got to be very careful here now when we get to this part. So what I'm going to do is just show you what we've got to be thinking. We take the y term here which is minus 2y and then we're going to subtract that minus there, subtract the next y term and the next y term isn't 7y but it's minus 7y so it's subtract minus 7y. And we need to clean this up. We've got two negative terms here together which are replaced by a plus, so that becomes minus 2y plus 7y. And minus 2y plus 7y leaves me with 5y. It's that kind of part in this question that people make mistakes, so be very careful then about that. So what we therefore have is minus 2y then minus minus 7y becomes 5y. Now we look at this column here, this is very straightforward, we have 11 subtract the 1. 11 take away 1 is 10. So all I need to do now is solve this equation, so by dividing both sides by 5, 5y divided by 5 is y, and 10 divided by 5 is simply 2. So we have y equals 2. Now that we've got y equals 2, we need to substitute this value back into any one of the two equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to select number 1. Okay, so I'm going to say to the reader, sub y equals 2 into equation number 1. And if I do that, we've got 5x, so let's just put that down, 5x minus 2 times y, so that's minus 2 times the y value of 2, and that equals, we're told, 11. Tidy this up, we have 5x minus 4 equals 11, so all I need to do is add 4 to both sides, so therefore we have 5x equals 11 add 4, which is 15, and if I divide both sides now by 5, I get x equals 15 divided by 5, which is 3. As I said earlier, it doesn't matter which one of these two equations we substitute in, one or two, you should get exactly the same value for x. So I'll leave it to you to just try that you could uh, substitute y equals 2 into this equation, number 2 if you like, check that you get x equals 3. So all you need to do now is just summarise your results and just say therefore x equals 3 and y equals 2. And that's your solution then to this simultaneous equation. And by the way, you can actually check these values if you like, just by substituting x equals 3 and y equals 2 into here, you can see that you get 11. 5 threes are 15, take away 2 twos are 4, 15 take away 4 is 11, and in this equation, 5 times the x value, 5 threes are 15, subtract 7 times the y value, y was 2, 7 twos are 14, so you have 15 take away 14 is 1. So you can see it works.